<laughs> All right, just got in the river. Eagle River, Wisconsin. Coming to dive over here by this bridge. Got some traffic going through the center of the bridge, but we're gonna stay over to the side, stay along this edge here and clean up. It's kind of weedy in here. So we're gonna stay a little bit further out, try to get any garbage in here. Too? I had all kinds of stuff on me. Line and all kinds of stuff wrapped around me. Still do. Look at this. I think a, a volleyball net or something. It was wrapped everywhere. Gotcha. Two of them? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff out here. We're probably going to keep finding a lot of stuff. Good stuff in here. start heading back. I got a couple minutes I can look under here. Okay. Otherwise, I'll be here all week. I can come back to another tattoo. Look under the whole pontoon. If you see a hole right underneath, because I hit a sandbar, yeah. there's four pontoons like two on two inside and two in here. You can see the extra ones. Gotcha. But the big ones here, the big black one, all the way as far as you want to go up to here. It's 40 feet here. Okay. If you want to feel around, if you feel a little hole or see one. Or... Okay. It's pretty bad. 
bent up in the back there, so I can see it's a, there's a lot of wear in it. Do you have all electric cords out of the water? Uh, yes, I do. Everything's out. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty scary under there. I did notice a lot of holes and dings in that pontoon. I could see where they passed to it, some JV weld. It actually needed a lot of work done to it, so I went back and helped them later. And I also saw this washer. How'd that get there? Check out what we found today. Found all of this stuff right here, and I want to go to the bottles right away. Because this is the first time for me, Coca Mariani from Paris, Paris, France. Pretty cool. Got a bunch of old wine bottles here, a bunch of Coca-Cola bottles from all different places. Some more bottles here. Check out this nice 7-Up bottle. Woo! Old Quaker bottle here. I think that might have been whiskey. A bunch of other jars. Some of these jars still have food in them. Um, this says Santa Cruz Organic. Don't know what's in there. This has some kind of mystery sauce in there. Got a bunch of cans today. A couple of uh, bigger jars and jugs. Some other random stuff right there. Pulled out some lures. This musky lure has been down there for a while. Ain't no good no more. Broken glass. Check with this old typewriter. Wow. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Christmas tree stand. We got some uranium glass right here with a golf ball in it. This will shine up nice in the um, black light. And there's some cool designs on there. Dolly sweeper lid right there. Piece of roller chair. Some sunglasses. Jay found this really cool belt with the stars on it. A parking meter. I have no idea why that's in the water, but there's some coins in there still. Cool. Jay found a couple fishing rods today right there. Pull up some sandbags. All right, that's a quarter keg for beer, I guess. Get some other random stuff there. Awesome spot. We started up at the park, went under the bridge, and came up the river a little bit. Uh, a lot of cool stuff down there. Didn't see uh, too many fish, one huge bass, and a bunch of small walleye. Can't wait to get back in there, clean up some more. Bet you thought I was done diving. I wasn't. Check out what I got in about 20 minutes. Piece of a lawn chair, two Buick hubcaps. Check that out, whatever that thing is. Propeller, a bunch of bottles. This one is pretty cool here. I don't know what it says on it. Indian Sagawa, Sagawa, Helium Bigelow. Found one of these torpedo bottles, but it's like broken. First one I found like that. Much more Coke bottles, ginger ale bottle, seven up bottle, pretty neat. And just a bunch of other wine bottles and stuff. I'm done for the day. Silent J and I actually went back the very next day and got about just as many bottles and as much trash as we did this dive here. So it was pretty fun. It felt really good to get all that trash out of the water.